Yeah. This is a terrorist, man. Oh, bye, bye. He's the one that started that nigga, I'm sad. Niggas ain't really sad. Really niggas ain't really sad. Niggas don't be sad, they be niggas mad. Niggas ain't oh, sad. Niggas don't be sad, though. Them niggas be mad, bro. Niggas be bad. Like, that's a real lie, it's young nigga, green, man. You come up here every day, you gonna see how, this, how we really live. I don't really want no power, I don't want no power. <laughs> All young niggas. Yeah, I don't want no power, I don't want no power. We see no OGs around here. No we is the OGs. Yeah. This nigga Taco Tuesday sneaking, yeah, man. sneaking the interview. It's Lil Lil. Body murder. He's young Lil man. Goon of Jerry Rich. Pay some. Big Riff bit. Big Flop 187. That's Baby Up, aka Slim Rich. And why is Jerry? This 3 0. Lil Boy, I need him. It's K Prime. Tune in the voice of the youth. Taco Talk TV. Hey. We know what the fuck hey. it is. Hey. What was it like growing up around here, like around Clay? It's like one of the known hoods in the city, like like Clay Turner, one of the known hoods. Like they know, like growing up in that shit, like my hood was beef and heavy. So it was like as a nigga was growing up, a nigga already adapted to this shit. You know what I'm saying? Nigga real loud. When I was like 10, 9, shit like that. Nigga was outside. Like, it just like, it just like, like I've been around this y'all all my life. I ain't live nowhere else. So like everybody know me, even all the old heads. So, you know what I mean? Everybody know me around this y'all. So, like, I just like always been that man. Like, my mama know me. So, around picture, like, they say big, money man, shit like that, everybody gonna know, like, oh, now nah, I know stuff. Like, every school I went to, anything in this area, they knew me up in that joint. So, like, I've always been somebody. So, when I started rapping, that shit was just, motherfuckers just off some shit, like, hey, he, he rapping now? Hey, I never knew he had rap. This so though, he used to always just look, look sweet, be fresh, shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Nigga that play football, shit like that. Just like with somebody on the field. So when they see me rapping and shit, all my little, my motherfuckers that was looking at me when I was playing sports, they started looking at me playing football now. You know what I'm saying? So like, I ain't really got the same Instagram that I had back then. I should have been going up for real. All the old motherfuckers that know made a whole new jump. So now my shit really going on. They back seeing me now. Like, damn, he rapping now, that shit sound good. You know what I'm saying? I don't sound like nobody. The only person they be saying I sound like is like Baby Out. You know what I'm saying? I don't let Baby Out. So that's the only person they say I be sounding like. You know what I'm saying? But I don't sound like nobody else. Like, I got my own style. I might say what you niggas be saying. I might finesse that shit, but I don't be on what they be on. I really got vibes. And this shit like beefing right here. They ain't gotta sit down and write that shit. Whatever vibe I'm feeling like when I go on the stool, that's what I go in there and rap about. You know what I'm saying? What was you like back then? You said people used to, they used to know you from like your old Instagram when you was playing sports. I mean, I always, like, like I always been like a public figure type of guy. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I always was popular. If you get what I'm saying? Like at school, shit like that, always been popular. Everybody always knew me. I never been one of them niggas like, they had to do something for motherfuckers to know me. They always like, oh nah, I already know him. I know him from this, so I know him from that, or some shit like that. So like, it was easy. You know what I'm saying? I ain't had to force nothing. You know what I'm saying? I stayed, I ain't need to talk a lot. I still don't be talking. You know what I'm saying? So, they be too sad. I really be high as shit. But it be high shit off that weed, bro. And you only get sad when you smoking that side, bro. You only get sad when you smoking that side. That G get you high, that be the saddest off that side. Go back. So, like back then when you was a public figure, what what type of person was you like? It was, you said you was quiet. Like how was you quiet and a public I was, figure? I was like, I spoke when I was spoken to type shit. Or like I spoke when I had to. Like, 
I always felt like I was that nigga, so I ain't had to say nothing to nobody first. Like, you gonna speak to me. You know what I'm saying? And like, I always been with a group of niggas, so, like, you know when a group of niggas walk up, you know what I'm saying? Like, everybody around me was somebody. You know what I'm saying? So, man, I was, I was, I ain't gonna say, I, I was a regular nigga. I wanted no tough shit, I wanted no that. I want to try to, you know what I'm saying? This shit just came natural. You know what I'm saying? Nigga ain't never played with, ain't nobody played with me. So I ain't had to force my hand, but when it was time to do that, niggas knew what's up though. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I got respect. Ain't nobody never played with me, and I always hold my own from the jail to the streets. You know what I'm saying? So, and I be going everywhere by myself. I ain't yeah. talking nobody. I'm always out. What's it like, like, being in D.C., we got different hoods that's close to each other. Uh, right? So your hood kind of close to some other hoods. What's that like? I mean, everywhere you go, you know you got to have that eye. So, like, you got to be on point. I watch every cop. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, I just be too much on point. And I've been like that. Like, I see everything. All that you think I don't see you, I see you. You know what I'm saying? So... Like, growing up in this shit, everybody in the 20 block from Rambler. Like, you got from hood to hood to hood. You know what I'm saying? And, like, that shit be going off, though. I ain't gonna lie. That shit be going off, but ain't nobody coming through this circle, though. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody coming through this. So that shit be going off, though, but that shit get stopped. Do you, how you feel about when people say that, like, DC could be like Atlanta, where as far as the connections? Because it is. Big rappers, but you say everybody beefing. Yeah, so like Atlanta, right? It's like everybody bringing each other up. Like you got the next man get on, he bringing somebody up. Next man get on, he bringing somebody up. Or that one nigga might bring five niggas up. You know what I'm saying? From different hoods in they city or in they state type shit. Around DC, like ain't nobody bringing nobody up. You gotta get your fans in. Oh, you gotta do something. To get your own fan, that's why everybody sneak this and people they raps all this shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, they don't let the gain attention. You know what I'm saying? I'm coming with a lane that I want my to say. You know what I'm saying? Like, even if you don't listen to my music, I'd be, I feel good when you say nigga, I'm saying, I know I started that shit. You know what I'm saying? So, I'ma always have money. So, I ain't really tripping about if that rap shit don't work. Face got good, I can serve the whole city. Nah, for real though. So, man, this shit gonna come with this shit though. You know niggas been rapping 10, 11 years, that's my age. I'm only 25, I know niggas that been rapping 10, 11 years. So, I look at this shit, I've been rapping a year, my shit going up, my shit doing numbers now. One year, off of one year of me being consistent, my shit doing numbers. Two teams, I dropped this shit, 10 videos, everything doing numbers. So, man, I just can't take my foot off the game. Nah, for real though, they gon' see me. They gon' see me now, they gon' see me later.